So like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and so let's begin with the energy reads. So the first card you've got is the Weeping Willow. So there's some kind of uh, news coming in. Uh, it says family sorrow. So there might be some kind of loss that comes in or some kind of uh, problem that comes in. Uh, you've got the Weeping Willow over here. Uh, the card immediately below it is uh, it's get back to basics. So you need to go back and reconsider things and maybe start afresh somewhere else. Um, you've got the quill over here, so you've got a lot of thinking that needs to be done. The purse card over here says pay attention to your finances. So you do need to watch that money and watch that spending during this week. So just, you know, just don't go overboard there. Now, in the past, you've got the pick card, so be aware of greed. So you have been dealing with people that may have been taking too much of uh, from you but also it could be in a case where you've been buying too much or you know overspending overstretching your resources uh things that you might be buying were things that you didn't really need so just you you need to curb that uh, energy and you've got the knot of here so unsuccessful plans so things may not have been working out quite how you wanted it um you know they may have been unexpected losses and maybe you know you've been overstretching that resources and maybe uh you know doing things that uh have not been successful so uh you know you're starting to face some kind of problems there is that need for you to watch that finances so where you've been overspending here uh you do need to start tightening your belt now going into the future you've got uh, the hill so whatever obstacles you have you are going to be overcome uh, be you are going to be able to overcome them. Now, these are hills, not mountains. So they are not as big as you you think they are, whatever these obstacles are. There is going to be a little bit of effort on your part because you do need some effort to climb these hills. Um, but you will be able to overcome this because you've got that nice little sunrise there in the distance. So there is, uh, you know, a light at the end of the tunnel. There is uh, a chance for you to overcome these obstacles, but you do just need to persevere. And, you know, you need to start watching how you handle finances. Uh, get yourself in order, really. Uh, so make some plans. Get yourself organized. And the, uh, the final card is the kangaroo says unsettled times and need to plan ahead. So like I was saying with the hills card, in order for you to overcome these obstacles and problems, you do need to plan ahead over here. So, and you can see this uh, kangaroo has got that pouch. So you need to put things aside. You need to, to save uh, at the moment. So you might be overstretching those finances quite a bit there. This is causing problems. Um, you know, things, plans that you've been making have not quite been working out over there. So you do need to start planning ahead and curb uh you know any kind of uh vice that you may have so if you're overspending or you know spending money in, in things that you on things that you really shouldn't be there's a need for you to tighten that belt and make some plans it's very very important the quality is about writing things down as well so go back to basics write down what you need uh, and going back to basics also means that whatever you uh, spend on now needs to be uh, things where your basic needs are met rather than uh, being extravagant so this is very very important and you know what there is going to be some news that comes in that may not be uh, the best news, it might be a little upsetting. So be aware that that is coming in for you there. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Page of Cups over here, the Hanged Man and the Eight of Wands, the Hierophant. So uh, the Hierophant is about uh, either doing teaching or learning, uh, but it also could be that you are uh, you know, visiting some kind of uh, financial institutions, uh, that sort of thing, uh, establishments, uh, and uh, maybe you're working in, in, in that kind of field where you're working in a, in a school or in a college or in a hospital, uh, in a big um, um, establishment, really, uh, where there's a lot of knowledge, or there could be even a financial institute over there. So you are pretty focused on it. You're pretty hard at work on that um, you've got the eight of wands there's been a lot of news that has been coming in for you there uh, you can see there's a sunrise there in the distance there so uh, you know things are starting to align themselves the universe is starting to align energies for you uh, and you're you're starting to focus quite a bit as well now uh, this could also be about travels you may have been doing some travel recently but also about news coming in over here something that's coming in or has come in has been quite enlightening and maybe you've been communicating with a lot of people as well uh 
you've got the hang van over here waiting for things to happen. This is about self-sacrifice, but this is also about waiting for things to change. So maybe things feel a little stuck. It's a, a bit uh, um, weird that you've got the eight of wands, which is the card of complete movement next to the hangman. So there might be all this news coming in, uh, but you um, haven't been able to get out of the situation. Something is tying you up in that situation. Uh, you know, maybe you feel as though everything is a bit upside down as well. Both these cards have got the sunrise over there. So there's the promise of things changing for the better. Um, but it seems like something has got you tied up in knots, tied up uh, pretty stuck. Something's tied your hands and your legs. So it seems like you can't get out of the situation. There's news coming in over there with that page of cups. There might be an offer that comes in over there with that page of cups. Uh, um, you can see she's taking this cup out of the box. So it's something that you are considering. Uh, somebody has put an offer to you and you're thinking about it quite carefully. And maybe this is what, why you're a bit stuck. You're not quite sure what you should be doing uh, with that uh, page of cups. You, you know, um, the new cup coming in over here, a new offer coming in there. This could be an offer for study, for learning, even an offer of, uh, you know, of moving home. Uh, but you are considering this option very, very carefully. This could even be a, a new love relationship that comes in on offer for you there. But together with that hierophant, you know, you have been doing a lot of learning, a lot of uh, studying, a lot of communicating and not a lot of networking. But it seems like uh, you haven't made up your mind what you want to do just yet. Now, uh, you've got the Ten of Wands there with the Justice card. So you might be waiting for a legal decision, and maybe this is the reason why you've got that hangman, um, you know. Uh, so whatever it is, it's keeping you very tied up. You haven't been able to make a move. And it looks, because you've got the Justice card there, it's a legal decision. You've been going through a lot of problems with this case. Uh, you know, you can see you're carrying a lot of burdens, but there's been a lot of issues. There could have been a lot of fighting, arguments, um, difficult people that you were dealing with. And you're waiting for this decision to to uh, come through. So you are waiting for a resolution of this particular problem. And uh, it seems like you'll be hearing news about it. It's coming to an end after going through all these problems. You've got the Knight of Cups over here together with the Emperor. So again, the Emperor card showing uh, legalities, so sorting through things. Uh, a decision uh, about to be made right now. Uh, the Knight of Cups is about an offer coming in. Uh, it's about movement. It's about news. Um, so you're dealing with that. Uh, energy there. It could even be a water sign person. There's some news that is coming in. There's also that sense of movement. So you might be thinking of actually moving away and and uh, relocating, really, going overseas with that Knight of Cups. With the Emperor, uh, people are working on this legal case over here. It seems like there's a lot of effort that's been put into this particular case, and a decision is going to be made uh, with regards to this illegal issue that you're dealing with because you've got the emperor which also is about justice um and then you've got the justice card over here so definitely a legal decision that is coming uh in for you there but it's going to put a rest a, a, an end to all the struggles that you've been going through so finally clarity coming in or closure coming in for you now you've got the seven of wands over here you do need to defend yourself oh well, that's what you're doing at the moment uh, you're feeling very stressed out. You might be feeling as though your back is against the wall as well. Um, you can see this person's almost at the edge there and all these um, rods coming in. And that's how you're feeling. You're very feeling very anxious, very stressed. Um, you know, you're not quite sure what to do. And, you know, like I said, you feel as though you're stuck um, between a rock and a hard place. So whichever way you turn... It doesn't seem like it's, you know, good. And that's how you're feeling at the moment. Very, very anxious. And you're defending yourself, at, you know, from every angle. Now, going into the future, you've got the three of coins. So um, this is about money coming in here. Uh, you'll need to work on the situation a little bit. But this is about a job uh, coming in or, or where you're going to be focusing a lot on your work, working with a lot of people, collaborating with a lot of people. Now, if it's with this legal issue and you've got the three of coins over here, money is coming in. So you're going to get some kind of payoff that comes in over here. You could have been dealing with some legal issue at work as well. Um, but with that three of coins, there is success in whatever it is. It looks like once this legal decision is, uh, ends, you're going to be able to focus a lot more on your work. Uh, and you'll be working with a lot of people, collaborating with a lot of people as well. There's some kind of choice as well coming in for you there. Um, so you are going to be, um, you know, you need to be very uh, disciplined with this three of coins um, and uh, very strategic as well uh, with whatever's coming in there. You've got the death card. So there's endings. Uh, something is coming to an end, uh, new beginnings, transformation coming in. And if you can see, this card has got that um, 
It looks like it's a light at the end of the tunnel over there. So all those problems are now coming to a close and you will be able to move forward. There is that light at the end of the tunnel after going through a lot of difficulties. Uh, you've got the two of coins, a choice coming in for you there. So, you know, watching your money, but also there's some kind of offer coming in for you as far as the work front goes. So there is that choice. Uh, you know, there's that transformation that comes in um, and there's the coin coming in. So you're going to have a, a, an option of choosing uh, a, a new job. So it looks like you're going to have some kind of legal decision that gets sorted out. Uh, the burdens or the responsibilities or whatever problems you've been going through comes to an end. And it's going to allow you to... Um, to move forward on the work front. So it's been limiting your finances, whatever the situation is. You're going to have to make a choice about where you want to go. And it looks like it might be some overseas kind of travel coming over there because this hand is coming out of the water. Usually in the coins cups, uh, cards, there's no water. But there seems to be a, a big ocean here. So you're going to have to make a decision about moving forward uh, and you starting a job somewhere afresh, uh, you know, uh, overseas, it seems. So there's an option coming in for you there, a choice coming in. And you're going to be ending the situation. Whatever happens, once this legal issue gets sorted out, you will, uh, you know, put an end to the situation and move on. You've got the temperance card over here. So this is about using all your resources, all the things that you've learned and healing from the situation, uh, making plans, uh, you know, um, and working also about taking advice from people around you. This is important. Understand what is going on by speaking to the people around you. Now going to the future, you've got the six of coins, the ten of cups and the four of wands. So uh, the six of coins is about some finances are coming in. At the moment, it might be a bit um, limited. So even though there's going to be this payout, there seems to be, it seems like whatever this legal decision is, there's going to be some kind of financial payout that comes with it. The money is a bit tied up at the moment. So uh, maybe this legal case actually releases those finances to you, but it is there and it will come. <coughs> so don't stress out about that. But there might be a lot of paperwork. There might be a, it might be delayed in coming to you, whatever the finances are, but it will come. Uh, you've got the Ten of Cups, and once this legal issue is finished, you will put an end to the situation, break up ties with the people that you have, uh, who have given you a lot of emotional stress, and you're going to be moving on. So whatever this legal issue is, once it gets sorted out, uh, the money will get released, even though not released immediately, but it uh, gives you a chance of ending this particular situation and moving on. And you are going to be moving on. You've got the Four of Wands over here. So this is about overseas. You can see there's a nice ocean over there. And then there's the Wands. So you will be working with a team of people. This is about teamwork. But this could also be about uh, traveling overseas and working. So doing a lot of travel, uh, doing a lot of overseas work, uh, networking, or even moving overseas and working. Uh, but whatever it is that comes in, there's going to be a lot of travel. But it's also going to be very successful. And you will be signing new contracts because the Four of Wands is the marriage contract. It's the card of contracts. So you'll be signing new contracts and um, a lot of projects will come in, but you will be working with a team of people soon. So you are making big decisions. And like I said, you've got this two of coins together with that ocean and you've got that four of coin, uh, four of wands with the ocean over there in the background. And seems to me as though you're going to making, be making a decision about where you want to get your coin from. And it might be that uh, an overseas business uh, would be the most lucrative thing for you to be doing. Um, and that is going to bring in the money. And once you start doing that, you'll start enjoying working uh with all these people um, and you're going to be heading this project whatever it is you're going to be heading heading it uh, there's a sense that you have um, an expertise in some kind of field that you will be putting out uh, and you'll be able to um, you know get money for that expertise that you have so there's something coming in for you there uh, but you are waiting for all of this to end uh, before you all the legal issues to be uh ending before you make a decision about what you want to do. So this is cards from the wolf pack and the first card is family and you will find that family and friends will give you a sense of joy and healing, a reunion, a return of a friend or relative. Old family matters are put to rest, a reconciliation. So if you're having issues on the family front, there might be a, um, a resolution to any difficulties that you've been having. If you've been estranged from somebody, uh, there seems to be some kind of reconciliation coming in. But there's a focus on, on family there at the moment. Be careful of the trickster. Uh, so beyond a shadow of a doubt, there's a person in your life or is about to enter your life who cannot be trusted. So be cautious. You may save heart. 
uh, money or both, time exposes the trickster. So there is somebody that is coming in. Now, it could be a family member. Maybe they let you down in the past and they it looks like they might let you down again. So just be careful uh, with whom you reconcile or where you get your apologies from. Sometimes it's best to just cut ties with people and move on and, you know... Um, it's all well and good to uh, want to resolve issues and smooth out situations. But sometimes it's not always in our best interest to go back to a situation. Uh, sometimes we need to just cut the ties and walk away because, you know, sometimes people just are repeat offenders <laughs> and they will just keep doing the same things to us. And if we let them, with, they will just keep messing with us over and over again. So sometimes it's best to just um, cut your cut your losses and move on to something else. So just be careful there's somebody around you uh, that may have upset you or uh, uh, deceived you in the past and they may be coming back again to do it again. So just be careful. You've got the alpha female over here. So this is a person that comes into your life and she could be changing your month. She's a very powerful woman. Uh, this is not a lover, but she is somebody that is like a stockbroker, a doctor, a real estate agent or benefactor. So you've got a very, very strong uh, female energy coming in over there to give you some help. And that will come in for you in the next 12 months. And it says, be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe and courageously stand your ground. So you need to stand up for yourself. And you do know this because you've got the seven of wands as well in the main read. So you need to defend yourself and don't let anybody take advantage of you. So be assertive. And the second card is the Princess of Spring, which says it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons and lets your creativity take flight. So there's news coming in from overseas about a job overseas, um, you know, and some trouble coming in as well. And you need to accept this. So, uh, you know, if this is, this is uh, going to be good news and it's going to allow you to travel. And like I said, uh, you know, there's a lot of overseas travel that seems to be coming in for you. So a lot of overseas networking coming. You've got the life experience card, which is a tower card, really. So let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event a situation that leads to significant opportunities. Now, the tower card, I always say, it's an awful card, but it clears the decks. And maybe you don't know why it happens at that particular time, but it's really, you know, you have to look at it in the long run. It's going to be a positive experience. It's going to be, if it wasn't for that event, you would never have made these changes. You will say that eventually. So whatever the tower brings in, it's not something to be scared of. It may be a bit uh, irritating or, uh, you know, a bit uncomfortable to go through a tower experience, uh, to say the least. Uh, but what it does is it brings in, um, makes space for all the positive energies to start taking in uh, its effect. So it clears out the negative energies and brings in the positive energies. Uh, so some big event coming in for you over there that's going to be life-changing. So there's some kind of decision, some kind of news that is coming in with this Princess of Spring that is going to be a life-changing uh, news that comes in for you. Uh, you might need to defend yourself in the situation, stand up for yourself, but it's going to allow you to express who you are and uh, it's going to allow you to get over whatever situation you are feeling very stuck in at the moment. So I hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and all the luck. Thank you for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.